Hello. All right. This is going to be a little bit longer of a demo. We're going to use all of the tools that we've learned so far and then also uh, learn some new ones. So uh, this is going to be the goal for today. So when we're done, we're going to get something that will look like this. But in order to get here, the first thing you need to do is download uh, all of the pictures from the Google Classroom. So you should uh, have a frame picture, a um, pig picture, a butterfly, a texture, and a forest, right? So we're going to go ahead and start in the pig image. So this image is going to be based off of that saying, when pigs fly, right? So somebody asks you like a question and your answer is not only no, but it's like, no, I'm gonna do that when pigs fly, which means like never, <laughs> right? So um, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the background of this pig. So this will be a process that you should be familiar with uh, because we've done it a couple of times. So let's unlock the background. We're gonna go with our magic wand. We're gonna click on the white background. We're going to invert our selection by doing Control Shift I. And then we're gonna add a layer mask. So that's to get the pig ready. And then the wings that we're gonna be using for our pig are the butterfly wings. Uh, and you'll notice that on this picture, um, it does not have a white background, right? All of the other animals that I've given you so far have had really clean, empty backgrounds. But if there's something that you wanna use on an image that does not have a plain background, then we can use our quick selection tool to select the item that you're wanting to use. So I'm just gonna go through here and select this wing. Uh, sometimes our quick selection tool is not as smart as we would like it to be. So you have to do like small clicks that you, where you do like multiple clicking to get what you want instead of just clicking everything in one go, right? So I'm doing like some small clicks here to try to get just the wing. And then if you get too much of the wing, remember in order to turn that plus sign into a minus sign, we have to hold Alt on our keyboard, and then we can remove whatever part of the background we accidentally selected. OK, so now with our wing selected, we are now going to add a layer mask. So with our pig, we had to invert our selection because the original selection that we were making was of the white of the background. And then we inverted it so that it would be just the pig. However, when we did our butterfly wing, we selected the butterfly wing from the beginning. So we do not need to invert this selection. All we have to do is add a layer mask and it'll get rid of everything in the background, right? So now I'm gonna go with my move tool and I'm going to move this butterfly wing into the same document as the pig. And then you'll notice that when we're working in Photoshop, it's different than Illustrator because you can't work in this empty space, right? Everything that you're working in gets cut off when it goes into that empty space. So we need to resize our pig. So we're gonna click on our pig layer and we're gonna do control T and make him smaller so that we have some room to work. And then we would press enter to save that edit. And then we're going to make the wings smaller as well. So we're gonna do control T, make the wing smaller and also turn it. So that way it'll look like it belongs on the side of our pig. And then we'll press enter to save that as well. Now, if we look back at our butterfly image the way that it was at the beginning, this other wing over here is really blurry. So we don't really wanna use that. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna duplicate this wing. So in my move tool, I'm gonna hold alt and I'm gonna drag this guy over so that I make a duplicate copy. And then I also need to flip it. 
So I'm going to come up here to edit, transform, flip horizontal. And then now I get a wing that's facing the opposite direction. If I want, I can do control T and I can turn it a little bit more, something like that, and then press enter. And so now we have to make it look like the wings are actually coming out from the pig, right? So we always want to work smarter and not harder. So instead of adding a mask here to, so that we can see the pig underneath, let's just change the layers, right? So over here in the layers, if I change the order so that the pig is in the middle, so it should be like wing, pig, other wing, then automatically that wing looks like it's behind our pig, right? Perfect, okay? And then this wing over here is on this side. So now what we're gonna do, after I scoot all of these over so I can see everything, now we're gonna make it where it looks a little bit more fantastical. So when people are creating things and they want them to look kind of like cartoonish or not realistic, they'll make the head of something larger than it needs to be. So we're gonna go ahead and make his head larger so the first thing we need to do is select his head. So we're going to make sure that just the pig layer is selected and nothing else. And then we're going to go with our quick selection tool. And we're going to select the head of our pig here. And then remember, if you get too much of something, you can hold Alt and remove it. And then we're going to go with our move tool. And we're going to do control T and we're going to change the size of his head. So you're going to notice something that right now his head got bigger, but we can't see this part of his face because the mask is covering it right over here on our mask. We made a mask based off of the previous size of his head. And now that his head is bigger, the mask is covering it and we wanna bring it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make it uh, about this big. And then I'm gonna press enter to save my edit. And then I'm gonna go with my paintbrush tool and I'm gonna paint with white. And I wanna bring back everything that's inside of my selection. It's really important for this step that you do not deselect before you do this, right? I want to keep that selection so that I know where his head is, right? So if I paint here with white, whoops, I need to paint on the mask, right? So I just made a mistake that students make. Paint on the mask and not the image. Okay, so I'm gonna click back on my mask over here and I'm gonna paint with white. I'm gonna change my opacity and my flow to be more. And then when I paint with white here, it's gonna bring back our pig's head. This is exactly what I wanted, right? And so now I can do control D and deselect. And now it's gonna look like we've got like an oversized pig's head, but it looks like it kind of fits because it's fantastical anyways. We've got those butterfly wings and pigs aren't supposed to fly. All right, uh, I've got a little white space right here that I need to get rid of. So I'm gonna paint with black to get rid of that guy. And then I'm also noticing that our wing uh, is kind of overlapping with our head, right? So because our wing is overlapping with our head, we also need to edit that mask. So let's go ahead and click on that mask and we're gonna paint with black this time. And we're gonna get rid of any part of the wing that is overlapping with our pig's ear or his head. And sometimes I like to get rid of more than I need and then switch my colors and bring back the parts that make sense, right? So I got rid of too much and now I'm going back in with white and bringing back some of it. So that it looks like that wing is going behind his ear. 
something like that. Okay, now at this point, I need you to save. Okay, if you haven't saved it yet, please save. So that way you don't lose it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna save on my creative cloud. You can call it like pig number one. Um, I already have it saved in my cloud, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Uh, but save your work at multiple points so that if your computer crashes or if just Photoshop crashes, you don't lose it forever. Okay, so we're gonna bring this pig into our image later. So I'm gonna leave this guy here for now. The next thing I need to do is find my picture that has the frame and we're gonna start to edit this to get it ready. So I'm gonna unlock this layer. I'm going to crop it because I don't need all of that white in the background. I'm gonna crop this part out. And then I'm press enter. Looks like I can still crop some of it. Okay, and then we wanna get rid of the white that's in the center. So we're gonna do that very similar to how we've done it before. We're gonna go with our magic wand. We're gonna select the white. Uh, I want to keep my frame. So I'm gonna do control shift I so that I have my frame selected. And then I'm gonna add a layer mask, which makes it see-through in the middle. And then you're gonna find your image of your fairy forest. Uh, and you're going to drag that guy into the image with the frame. And this is really easy. All we're gonna do is change the order of the layers. So over here, you need to make sure that the uh, forest goes underneath the frame. And then you can move it however you might wanna move it so that it looks nice. So I think that's probably a good spot. And then now that we have a scene to put our pig into, uh, we can drag him into this layer. So let's go with our pig here. We're gonna select all of these layers by holding shift and clicking on the bottom one. And then we're gonna move him into the frame image. And when you do that, it will automatically keep all three of those layers selected. And then you're gonna do control T to make all of them smaller at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna put them about here. And then we have two problems right now. The first one is that it doesn't look like he's actually in this scene because he's standing on top of something and his feet are not interacting with the tree, right? So that's the first problem. The second problem are that his colors don't match, right? His colors look a little bit funky. He's too bright for this background. So let's fix the feet first. So I'm gonna go to the mask that's on my pig. So over here in my layers, look for the layer that looks like your pig and then click on the mask next to it. We're gonna go with our brush tool and we're gonna paint with black. We're gonna change the opacity so that it's softer. And we're gonna start to get rid of his feet here. So what I want it to look like, if you guys can see this like line right here from the tree, it's like the tree trunk that's growing into the ground. Uh, I want it to look like his feet kind of are disappearing behind that part of the tree. So I'm gonna take a moment to do that. Okay, so that fixes the first problem. So now it looks like he's standing in that space in between the roots. Uh, but now I need to fix the color problem, right? So the first thing we need to do to fix the color issue is we need to group together all of the layers that create this pig. So over here in our layers, I'm gonna click on the top butterfly wing 
and then hold shift and click on the bottom one. So I have the first butterfly wing, the pig, and the second butterfly wing all selected over here. And then you're going to look for an icon that looks like a, uh, like a file folder. And if you click on that, it's going to create a group where now if I go with my move tool, it, it should theoretically move all of them together. Nope. Okay, it that will create a group where if we edit the colors of that group, now it will apply to everything in that group, but not the background, right? So with this group selected, I'm going to add a layer adjustment. So I'm gonna come down here to the adjustments Remember, it's the color that we're having a problem with. So I'm going to click on hue and saturation. And then I want to change the hue here so that it changes the colors. But oh no, it changes the colors of everything. That's not what I want. OK, so I need to look for this little icon right here that looks like a, a square with an arrow pointing down. Make sure that that does not have a slash through it so that it only applies to the group with the pig. And then we're going to change the colors of this pig so it looks like he matches better. So if we change the hue so that it looks like he's more green, then already that looks better. But he's still too bright. OK, so I'm going to change the saturation to go lower too. So now he matches even more. So now it looks like he exists in that space with everything. What I would also do right now is make sure that you name this group. So if you double click on group one, just name it pig one. So that way you know when you add more pigs, because you are gonna do that on your own, that that layer group belongs to pig number one. Okay, so we're almost done with this demo. You're almost to the end. Okay, so the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here to this texture and we're gonna drag this texture into our frame tab. So we're gonna click and drag this over here. Ooh, we wanna make sure that it goes on top of everything. So let me try that again. Okay, so we're gonna click on the hue and saturation layer because we want it to go on top of that layer. And then we're gonna drag it in there one more time. So let's try that again. Beautiful. OK, so now this layer is on top of everything. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the blend mode so that it looks like uh, this picture that's underneath has this texture on top of it. OK, so the layers right now should look like the following. You should have your frame on top. Then you should have the texture. Then the hue and saturation adjustment then the pig, and then your background, OK? So with the uh, texture layer selected, you're going to look for a drop-down menu that's labeled as normal. On that drop-down menu, there are different blend modes. They all do different things, right? Uh, and it kind of mixes with the, the layers underneath. But we're going to look for the one that says multiply. So we're going to click on multiply and you'll notice that everything that was white is now see-through and it gives us this texture where uh, if you guys have ever seen an old painting where it looks like it's cracking uh, that's the kind of texture we just got so with this texture selected let's also change the opacity to be like 80 so that way it's not so harsh um, and now it looks like all of those pictures because remember we had the background, and then three different pictures for the pig. So we had four pictures, but it looks like they're all one picture now because they all have a texture overlay on top of them. So your goal is going to be to add a, a total of three pigs to this scene. So you're going to do the same thing that we did together with pig number one. You're going to do that to at least two more pigs. Uh, and then you'll be done. So good luck.